Hi, Darren Lyle here. Hey, I'm working on a new course, a uh, vintage car creation course for Blender. And this is just the first 10 videos so far, uh, a little time lapse of what I'm doing. This is a 1952 Nash Healy, I think, right? 52? Yeah, I think so. And uh, so what I'm doing here is in Photoshop, I'm just cutting out the individual images that I, I got from uh, the blueprints.com, fantastic website. Um, and I'm just bringing in each of these cutout images into Blender. I'm setting each one up in their own view, the uh, side view, front, top, and back. And in Photoshop, I've tried to get each one of these pretty much the same size, as close as I can. And then I'm going to set them up so I can't accidentally select them and move them out of the way. And then I always try and begin on the easiest thing I can find on a project like this. And for me, I guess that was just the trunk. And then we're going to go up to the hood using pretty much the same process. And in this course, I'm going to go through a lot of different processes in creating this car because there's a good amount of different things on this car that, that we can use to kind of explore different processes, different tools in Blender. So I'm just setting up the hood here and turning on subdivision surfaces and checking it with different mat caps. And then what I did is I duplicated off that hood mesh to a new mesh. And I'm going to keep that original as a smoothing mesh so that I can shrink wrap this to the original one to keep it smooth. Because in creating all of these edges to try and hold that vent shape, you get some artifacts. So what you can do is basically shrink wrap the mesh, the hood here, to the original smoothing mesh. And that can eliminate a lot of the artifacts that you might see in a uh, shiny car like this. So that's what I'm doing here, is just adding that shrink wrap modifier and that's just one process that we're going to be dealing with now we begin on the fenders and for this i'm just going to draw it out draw out the edges vertex by vertex and kind of get the outline of that curved shape because that's a fairly complicated um, curve here, a fairly complicated shape. It's not complex, it's just um, an interesting shape that can be hard to get with polygons. So now I'm going to just set up the fender edge here and then begin just connecting them up with the previous edges. Scaling things up, trying to get that shape correct. Now we add the subdivision surface modifier, check it with the mat caps, and then we move on to the next part of the car, to the side of the car. And once again, extruding, connecting things up. And here I realized part of the mesh is flipped and I had to use face orientation to see which part is flipped and which isn't. Now we just fill in the various parts, trying to keep with quads, of course. And there we go. Readjust the trunk there and then continue on with the door. And with this, what I'm going to do is just extrude out, scale down in the Z and scale in the X to get that angle of the door. And from here, what we need to do is connect up the fender and the hood. So I'm going to insert the proper edge loops and then begin connecting these two up. Because ultimately we're going to use this smoothing mesh underneath the actual external parts of the car. So now I'm just connecting things up and what we'll work on after this is connecting up the front 
underneath the headlights here, adding the edges. And there we are so far, so thanks for joining me. See you soon.